Hello, and welcome to The Post Workshop. If you are new to this channel, we produce instructional tutorials to help strengthen your film and video post-production skills. To support this channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon to be notified when new videos are published. This is the third and final video in this ingest playlist. If you haven't seen the first two, I would recommend checking those out before continuing. You can find a link to the full playlist right up here. In this video, I will show you how to transcode select segments of much longer source material. This is useful in a situation where you only need, say, 10 seconds from a 45-minute clip. In a case like this, it would be a great waste of drive space and transcoding time to optimize the entire 45-minute original. Or maybe you would like to break a long, uncut interview into several smaller clips to help organize the content into related ideas or themes. In either case, subclipping is very helpful, and in this video, I will show you how that works. Here we are in Avid Media Composer with several master clips linked to highly compressed ABC long op files. In this scenario, we want to transcode only two segments of this interview to DNX HD for this full HD 1080p project. To do this, let's first load the linked clip into the source monitor by double clicking it. With a clip like this, where the visuals don't change all that much and the audio is the primary driver of the content, I find it helpful to see the source waveforms in the timeline. To toggle the timeline between source and record modes, press the tilde A key, or click this button to perform the same function. If you are not seeing audio waveforms, go to the Fast menu and select Audio Data Waveform. Now our source monitor is linked to the timeline instead of the usual link between the record monitor and the timeline. Let's say we only want to transcode a portion of this original clip. First, mark in and out points around the segment. I for in, O for out. Next, we want to create a subclip from this segment. To do that, click and drag this icon to any open bin. I have already created this subclips bin, so let's open that. Click, drag, drop, and we have a subclip of our selection. Now let's say we want to use another segment from the original clip. First, let's clear our original in and out points by pressing G on the keyboard. Then mark new in and out points around the second segment that we would like to use. Just like before, create another subclip by clicking, dragging, and dropping this icon into the bin of our choice. Now we have two subclips that we would like to transcode into an editing codec. Select both, right click, and choose Consolidate Transcode. If you watched the previous video in this playlist, you should be familiar with this dialog. Like before, select Transcode. Unlike before, we now have an option to add handles on either side of our in and out points. This can be changed to any value you would like, including zero, but I would recommend giving yourself at least two seconds of flexibility. Even if your marks were very precise, you may change your mind later when other clips are spliced in around it. Or if you decide to add a transition, like a fade, dissolve, or wipe, you will be thankful that the handles were there. Everything else in this dialog works the same as in the previous video, so let's select our drive and transcode. Once Media Composer finishes, we will see four new clips in our bin. To be more exact, two new master clips and two new subclips. We can tell the difference by their icons. The new master clips, right here, include the handles we specified during the transcode. The new subclips begin and end exactly where our in and out points were set. No handles are included. We can also see that all of the new clips have been transcoded to DNX HD and are optimized for editing. 
You can clean up the bin by deleting the clips you no longer need, or archive them to another bin for safekeeping. Over the course of the last three videos, we have learned a variety of methods for ingesting material into Avid Media Composer. In the first video, we learned linking material allows you to review it immediately without transcoding, but often results in sluggish performance while editing. Optimizing material for editing can be done in a variety of ways. Importing via the source browser does get the job done, but the transcode times are abysmally slow. A significantly faster option is the link to and then transcode method demonstrated in video two of this ingest playlist. If you missed either one of those videos, links are available here. And finally, in this video, we learned how subclips can be used to transcode select segments of much longer source material, in many cases saving you substantial drive space and transcoding time. In the comments below, please share which method or methods you prefer and why. If you find our tutorials helpful, please support this channel with your subscription and press the bell icon to be notified when new videos are published. Thank you very much for watching, and I wish you the very best with all of your post-production projects.